There's no doubt that consuming too much added sugar harms your overall health. Unfortunately, most Americans consume far too much added sugar in the form of soda, candy, sweetened baked goods, sugary breakfast cereals, and more. Cutting back on added sugar is important, as excessive consumption is linked to an increased risk of certain health conditions, including fatty liver, type 2 diabetes, and heart disease. To reduce their added sugar intake, some people take part in no sugar challenges. These challenges typically involve cutting out all forms of added sugar for a set amount of time, often 30 days. In today's video we explain what 30-day no-sugar challenges are and whether they're beneficial for your health. How do 30-day no-sugar challenges work? Many types of 30-day no-sugar challenges exist, but most have similar guidelines. The main goal is to cut out all sources of added sugar for 30 days. Instead, you focus on consuming nutrient-dense, whole foods that don't contain added sugars. Natural sugars, which are found in foods like vegetables, fruits, and dairy products, are okay to eat. The focus is on cutting out added sugars and foods high in added sugars, including sugary breakfast cereals, ice cream, cookies, cakes, candy, soda, and sweetened coffee drinks. Again, there are many variations of the 30-day no-sugar challenge, so the rules and recommendations may differ by program. Alternatively, you can easily create your own 30-day no-sugar challenge using the information in this video. So, are you ready to hear what are the foods to eat and foods to avoid? Although similar foods are typically restricted when participating in a 30-day no-sugar challenge, Specific rules may vary by the program you choose to follow. Foods to avoid. While following a 30-day no-sugar challenge, people are encouraged to restrict foods and beverages high in added sugars, including sweeteners, sweetened beverages, condiments with added sugar, sweetened dairy products, sugary baked goods, sugary breakfast foods, candy and sugary alcoholic beverages. Additionally, most no-sugar challenges recommend foregoing artificial and naturally derived low or no-calorie sweeteners such as Splenda, Equal, Stevia, and Monk Fruit. It's commonly recommended that refined grains, including white bread, white pasta, and white rice, are kept to a minimum and replaced with whole grain products without added sugars. Foods to eat during 30-day no-sugar challenges, participants are encouraged to fill up on whole, nutrient-dense foods, including vegetables, fruits, proteins, healthy fat sources, complex carb sources, unsweetened beverages. Overall, most no-added sugar challenges encourage whole, nutrient-dense foods. Do 30-day no-sugar challenges have benefits? Any dietary pattern that reduces or cuts out added sugar is likely to benefit overall health, especially among people who regularly consume high amounts of added sugar. However, the most important factor in any dietary pattern is consistency, which isn't necessarily the point of a 30-day no-sugar challenge. If you cut out added sugar for 30 days only to return to a diet that's high in added sugar, the benefits of following an added sugar-free diet will be quickly lost. The following benefits are related to reducing added sugar in general. 1. Blood sugar. Cutting back on added sugar is a good way to reduce blood sugar and insulin levels, even if you only do so for a short time period. However, if you cut out added sugar for 30 days only to return to a high sugar diet after the challenge is over, these benefits will be quickly lost. For this reason, a less strict, long-term approach to cutting back on added sugar is likely a more realistic choice for sustainable blood sugar management. 2. Body weight. Cutting out sources of added sugar may help you lose weight, 
especially when paired with a nutrient-dense diet that's high in protein and fiber. 3. Oral Health Added sugar intake is strongly linked to an increased risk of cavities and gum diseases in both children and adults. This is because bacteria in the mouth break down sugar and produce acid that may damage your teeth. Therefore, cutting out added sugar can protect your teeth. 4. Liver Health One study in 47 people found those who drank 34 ounces, 1 liter, of sugar-sweetened soda daily for 6 months had significantly higher levels of liver fat, visceral fat, and blood triglyceride levels than those who drank the same amount of low-fat milk, diet soda, or water. Based on these findings, it's likely that cutting out sugar, especially foods and beverages sweetened with high fructose corn syrup, is likely to reduce liver fat and improve liver health. 5. Heart Health Sugar-rich diets are linked to heart disease risk factors, including high blood pressure, triglyceride, and LDL, bad, cholesterol levels. Dietary patterns that restrict or reduce added sugar may encourage fat loss, which may also help reduce heart disease risk. Other Potential Benefits In addition to these benefits mentioned, participating in a 30-day no-sugar challenge may improve health in other ways. For example, research suggests that diets high in added sugar may be linked to anxiety and depressive symptoms, and that reducing sugar intake may help reduce these symptoms. Cutting out added sugar may also enhance skin health. Studies have linked high added sugar consumption to increased acne risk and skin aging. Lastly, cutting back on sugary foods and beverages may help improve your energy levels. Substituting refined foods with foods higher in protein, healthy fats, Fiber, vitamins, and minerals is likely to enhance overall health and help you feel more energized. Try it and let me know in the comments below. If you want more videos on health and wellness, click either of the videos on the screen right now and I'll see in the next one. Stay healthy and subscribe.